Hey guys, uh, my name is Freddie Oliver, uh, class of 2022. I go to uh, Northern Durham High School. Um, I'm committed to UNCW, and this is a What's in My Bag. So first we'll start off with my glove. Um, I've been using Rawlings my whole life. Uh, it's just kind of a comfort thing. Uh, it's uh, Rawlings Hard to Hide. Um, I've had this glove about four or five years. It's a pretty good glove. Um, I actually got my first uh, uh, Rawlings first basic glove when I was about seven or eight, and I had that one about four or five years as well. But it's holded up well. It's a uh, little tears and stuff, but uh, it's a great glove, and I, uh, I'm a big Rawlings fan. I've tried Wilson and stuff, but I just really like Rawlings. Um, it's just it just feels nice in my hand, and it feels great. So. Um, next we'll move into uh, my cleats. Um, I just started using uh, Adidas. Uh, I think these are called the Addy Zeros or Addy Burners or something like that. They're, they're, they were white, but uh, as you can tell now, they're brown. Um, you know, I have a pretty big foot, so just whatever feels light on my feet, they're really light. Um, and in uh, UNCW, Wilmington, they, uh, they use Adidas. So just try to get used to it and they feel been great so far. They feel really nice, so. Uh, next we go into the bats. Um, so ever since I was younger, I've always used Old Hick. I, uh, it's just, it's a great brand, um, good price wood, really good wood, and it's just, it just feels nice. Um, right here I have a, let's see, JD Martinez, uh, 33 and a half maple. Um, it feels really balanced, really nice. Um, I've gone from this model and then a model Old Hick also offers is a J143M, and they just kind of feel the similar. My buddy at, uh, Pro 5 last year put me on, Ryan Clifford, shout out to him, Vandy commit. Uh, and uh, it just feels great, and I and I love I love Old Hicks so much. Uh, next we'll go into a sand bat. Uh, I recently just got this. I love this model as well. Um, it's a little bit more top heavy than the old Hick, um, but man, this, it feels great. I love the color on this one, the black candle with the uh, uh, tan barrel. It is also a 33 and a half. Um, it is actually Luke Voigt's model. I found that out recently. You can't really see it anymore, but it's a uh, hidden, but nah, man, this is a great bat. I actually got this down in Georgia when I was down there for a couple weeks playing. Um, so I, I love this model as well. So really good bat and uh, really durable. Um, next is this the uh, a newer model for me, a, a newer bat. I've, I've never really swung De Marini, but it's a uh, De Marini the Goods. Um, last year the team I was on for high school we used this a lot. It's a big bat, and um, a lot of our guys use this. Uh, it's a 34 inch. I've been using a 34 since freshman year. It's just um, just feels comfortable with me. Uh, I was a big Louisville guy. Uh, I really, really like Louisville. It was just, I just tried this because I actually cracked my Louisville, the Omaha. So I tried this and I love it, man. It's a big barrel, nice bat, pretty well balanced as well. Not too top heavy. Um, always have pine tar on my bat. I wish I could go up higher, but they, the umpires kind of get mad about that. So stay about right here, but no, nah, man, it's a great bat and I, and I, I really like this bat, so. Next, we'll go ahead and move into my bag. First, this is just the Under Armour uh, backpack bag. 
Um, I just picked it up at uh, Dick's. Nothing uh, too crazy. Um, I've always used duffel bags since I was younger. Just get them from teams and then coaches have gave them to me. But I decided to get one of these just a little bit easier for me. Um, it's real comfortable, nice handles, nice everything. So we'll go into the bag now. Uh, first thing we have is my helmet. Uh, Rawlings helmet, you know, black helmet, nothing uh, too crazy. A um, little pine tar here and there, just, you know, stick a little bit, but not nah, black Rawlings helmet, nice. Uh, next we'll go into uh, sliding mitt and a little elbow guard. Um, I actually just started using this. They're kind of popular right now, honestly. I uh, shattered my handmade bone last year during a game, and so just to kind of protect it, uh, it's fully healed now, but just I really like this, and I, I put it on when I run the bases. Really comfortable. Uh, True Pro, I actually got it on Amazon, just nice and comfortable. I used to have an uh, Evo Show one, um, but no, this one's just a lot more comfortable. It's red, so it kind of pops a little bit, I guess. And so I really like this. Um, next, I have a little uh, Mizuno elbow guard. You don't really see a lot of these. Uh, it's really comfortable, though. Uh, a buddy of mine gave it to me. Um, I've been using these for this one for a while. Uh, it's just nice and comfortable. The strap's really nice on it, and uh, just. Uh, curveballs to hang up or hit you in or fastball comes in on you just you know protects your elbow so that's really nice so got one of those uh next we're going to batting gloves i have a lot of pair of batting gloves um i'm not really preference on the brand of the batting gloves i just you know if they fit they fit i use them um so first is these g-form ones uh i really like these man these are pretty nice uh you know i've got them off my buddy uh nothing too crazy uh just nice batting gloves Nice little padding. It's kind of cool right there, a little padding. Something cool. Uh, next is Franklin's. Uh, I've, I've used Franklin for a while as well. Um, you know, nice batting gloves. I like the power strap. I feel like the, uh, kind of gives you like a little bit extra wrist support. I don't know, some guys like the regular strap, but I just like these. Uh, really nice batting gloves, all black. I usually stick with black or white batting gloves. I try not to get too fancy with like, you know, some people wear the gold ones or like all white. I just kind of stick to the black and white. Um, Next to these Rawlings ones, I really like these. Uh, so I get blisters sometimes on my hands and stuff. So this little pad right here kind of protects that. So these are really nice as well. And uh, this black and white batting gloves are also really nice. So moving on, we'll move to my, my Alpha glove. I actually got this recently. Um, I got this from uh, Dix. It's just a GG Elite, pretty priced good glove, uh, not too expensive. Actually, my goal this uh, coming up off season and next school year, right before I go to college, I want to how to play uh, play a little bit of outfield. Um, I feel like just adding outfield to your game kind of expands your uh, you say your you some people say your draft stock or just overall ability to play in the game. It kind of makes you more versatile, and so uh, that's one big thing I want to get into. So I've been working on that really hard this summer and uh, just trying to try to expand what I can do in my game. So that's my outfield glove right there. Uh, next, we just got, here we go, we'll go to this pocket, top pocket right here in the bag. Um, got a little pro hitter. Uh, a lot of guys like these. I actually just started using it a little bit um, here and there. I feel like it just keeps the, the bat kind of kind of loose on your top hand. You don't really, you're not gripping the bat hard as you can. So I kind of like it, it's just real comfortable. Kind of helps to, uh, if you get jammed on the inside pitch, it uh, doesn't sting as much. So this is really nice. A buddy of mine put me onto this and I really enjoy it. It's, it's really nice. So that's a pro hitter. Um, next, we just got some some uh, leftover wrist tape. I started taping my wrist. Um, just feels comfortable, a little bit of drip, you could say. Uh, so there's some leftover white uh, tape for that. And then got some uh, Advil. Uh, if you're a baseball player, you know Advil. Definitely, uh, you definitely need this in between playing tournaments or games, or if your body's a little sore. It kind of takes the pain away a little bit, but always gotta keep this in there just in case. Um, next, this is the biggest thing, probably the most one of the most important things in my bag: uh, deodorant. You do not want to smell in between games. Um, you know, of course, you're gonna sweat and smell a little bit, but you don't want to smell terrible. So this is big, just two degree men's deodorant, nothing too crazy. And then we'll move down here. I got a bat weight. I've had this thing uh, forever. Uh, it's just a white donut. A lot of people have these. Um, swing it on deck and just use this. So serves its purpose. Then I got a couple baseballs. Just some baseballs. You never not have enough baseballs in your bag just to get thrown or if your coach shows up late or anything like that. Just uh, 
you know, have in your bag. So it's always, always good to have some of these. And then uh, lacrosse ball. I like to roll out before a game sometimes. Your arms, you lay on the ground, do it. This is really, it comes in uh, handy with this. So that's a lacrosse ball. And then let's see, I got, let's see what I got right here. If I can get it out. Some pine tar. Uh, I really like pine tar, man. Uh, Gives you some grip on the bat, especially when your batting gloves are a little sweaty. Um, just, you know, rub it on there and it, it does great and just, it's good. So I really like the pine tar on it. And um, see if there's anything else. Oh, more batting gloves. More batting gloves. I think we got some Jager bands. Yeah, so like I was saying, you can never have enough batting gloves. More of the power straps, just Franklin's. Um, really nice, black and white. All white pair. I don't really like this pair just because they're white. I kind of like black and white, but uh, just more batting gloves. And so that's that. And Jigger bands. Uh, last but not least, stretch your arm out before games. Arm care after the games. They help out a lot. And um, that's it for what's my baseball bag. Uh, thank you guys for watching me and everything. And have a good day.